Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis and oh boy I have a special one for you today and I know what's on your mind right now it's Daniel how have you got a special Bitcoin technical analysis for us when we're going absolutely sideways in the chart and let me tell you this pay full attention when it comes to trading so much that comes down to being a successful trader is managing that emotions and the psychological aspect of trading so in today's video, I'm going to give you a bit of a pep talk, a bit of excitement, a bit of a cheer up to start this week of trading. We're going to enter this week with a big smile on our face. We're going to enter this week prepared, ready to crush the charts. Repeat after me. I am a champion. Yes, you are a champion. I heard you shout it back at me. So with further said or do, without further said or do, let's just get into this is it. This is what we love. And that's what, like I was saying yesterday in the stream, like you just truly, you truly have to love what you do. You have to love what you do. And then every single day is a pleasure. Me making this video right now, it's an absolute pleasure because I know there's going to be at least one of you that ends this video saying, wow, my, my day's better today. I am going to crush the charts. That's my aim. That's my goal. Let's see if it's you. Let's go. So Bitcoin, obviously, we are, yes, we are totally range bound. We are going sideways on that on this chart. That's not to say there haven't been a few trades in here that have been absolutely pinpoint perfect. You know, the two that I'm going to just mention here, which I've obviously talked about a little bit previously. The first one was the, um, the swing failure pattern, obviously formed that double bottom. People get a bit bullish. Take out that double, double bottom of the swing failure pattern. The second trade is the one that we were looking at in the last public video that I made. And it was really simply when we were tracing down to around our daily on the, um, you know, the range point of control. We obviously were recognizing this as a pretty important support level. Okay, worthy of a long trade. This was my, my idea. This is something that's, you know, pretty interesting. You can see the timestamp here, 14th of January, 12.33. Go and do your research on this of when I posted this in my group, but I really simply gave them the post of, hey, this for me is another long opportunity on Bitcoin. Why? It was the, the level that I planned one day prior when it hit, you know, you got to plan the trade, trade the plan. And this is the first thing that I want to emphasize in today's video, ladies and gentlemen. It is all of this. Plan the trade, trade the plan. If you have no plan, your only plan is to fail. And this is not in trading, this is in life. If you approach every day having no idea what you're doing, well, you're not going to be as successful, in my opinion, as a person that knows exactly what they're going to do. They have goals, they have, you know, things that they're looking to achieve in this day. And when it comes to trading, it is of utmost importance, of utmost importance that you are prepared for price to you know, drop from here and you need to know the next level that you're looking to trade to the downside. You're also also prepared for Bitcoin to rise from here and you're knowing the next level to trade to the upside. E.g. you are planned for a drop and a rise. That way, when one of those scenarios occur, because one of them will, when one of those scenarios occur, you are ready and waiting for that next trade. Yeah, too many people approach this market with a one directional bias. Oh, Bitcoin is definitely going up here. Oh, Bitcoin is definitely going down here. No, the answer is we don't need to know definitely which way Bitcoin's going. That makes no difference to us as a professional trader. The only thing we care about is where's the next trade? Okay, and that can be in either direction. The only way that we can take that trade, though, is by having a plan or levels of confluence marked out before it's hit of where we're looking for our long trade and where we're looking for our short trade, period. OK, for me, that was a, a, a planned trade off of that point of control. Again, it was just more of a scope day trade. But obviously, we can see the reaction that it had off of this. This was obviously the, the print screens from over on Twitter. That's kind of what it looked like at the time. We come down, we hit that POC. And this was obviously the reaction off of it. Again, this is a good few percent move to the upside. You know. At the end of the day here, we're here to make money, whether that's off a 1% move or off of a 10% move. You know, money's money at the end of the day. And exactly as predicted, other people managing to get in on that trade as well, which was always, it's always a sweet feeling when that happens. Okay, but the next thing that I want to look at here is obviously, well, let's add back on this channel. Shall I remove this a sec? Yeah, I I'll keep this channel on a sec, um, this uh, range point of control on a sec. And obviously the point of control has slightly shifted this morning. Um, but I want to first... Uh, you know, help you construct, you know, what are we thinking here? Well, naturally, I'm thinking that we're range bound. Why am I thinking this? Because we are range bound at the moment. Okay, so there's, then the next thing comes down to your ch channel construction. So where are we going to construct our, our parallel channel from? Okay, the, the most obvious, 
place is generally going to be the overall low. As you can see here, this is the overall low of the range to the overall high of the range. OK, this is a simple construction. OK, what we can see here is what I'm generally looking at once I've constructed a channel. One second. <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm generally looking at once I've constructed this channel is, okay, how well respected is this midpoint? We can actually see the midpoint here is, is pretty well respected. We can see after the initial drop, we've come up into resistance, 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 you know, many SR flips all across this level, e.g. building up much volume, moving up obviously to the range high, coming back and this was the beauty, we had the back test of the POC on, on that range uh, POC, okay, on the middle of the channel. So we can see that this is a, a well respected level. At times, I will pull around this bottom of the channel to see if I can, you know, formulate this in a in a way which has got a little bit more respect. And if we bring it up to that old double bottom, which then ended in the swing failure pattern of the range, we can actually then start to see this middle of the channel is even more well respected. Again, deviation of it here to the POC back above, back test this morning. Okay, so I kind of like to just do this, you know, this will be one of my morning routines, you know, try and work out which is the channel to be trading today, this week, <laughs> the month ahead, <laughs> depending on how I don't imagine this range here lasts a month. It's a bit too small, but you know, for, for the for the rest of the day at least. Okay, and then tomorrow I can come in again in my morning. You know, spend an hour, two hours on the charts, planning out my trades. Okay, and then it's like I've said many times actually, in in a day in the day of a trader, I, in my honest belief is that ninety percent of your time should be spent doing analysis, should be spent making that plan, and only ten to five percent of the time is actually spent trading. OK, so, yeah, it's very important. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to emphasize greatly here. It's very important to have this plan. <clears throat> That's why the majority of my time is spent making my plans. OK, and as we can see here, this is the channel that I'm overall going for. I really like this one. So what we can see here is we have basically that, you know, major. Well, actually, it's not major, <laughs> to be honest with you. We have the POC still coming in here with the high volume node now at about 41,600. So what I like to do is write down these levels on my on, on my chart, on a bit of paper, somewhere that I'm aware of what this level is. Okay, so the high volume node coming in at 41,600. Then I have the bottom of the channel around 40,500, which is, you know, a, a big support level, because if we lose this, we're going to be heading down to the MPOC around 39 thousand three hundred dollars okay and then we're prepared once again you know we've got our alerts ready we know what we're going to be looking for that swing failure patterns or failed auction type move okay and it's only an actionable trade if we see that if we don't see that we just fall straight through there's no actionable trade we stay in our shorts and price you know we simply look for lower where to our next level that we're ready and waiting for okay likewise though if we do manage to build up here you know another higher low and price does in fact move up and it doesn't break the low of the range well really simply we're prepared if it breaks down here but we're also prepared for a move to the upside off of that swing fire pattern off that range point of control giving us two trades at the moment okay so naturally our next trade if this is going to continue to the top of the range is really simply a move to the top of the range and if we break that we're going to be looking up to that 46 big level of forty-seven thousand dollars, in my opinion um and it really is as simple as that. Of course, we can we can continue to trade this range bound. OK, so we continue to look for the shorts at the higher the range, longs off the lower range. If we really simply break the range high, for example, back test and move up, we're going to have to close our short positions. You know, it's OK to take a minor loss to result in a minor loss. It's absolutely fine to take a loss in trading. Never be scared of taking a loss. The biggest thing in trading is keeping your losses small and your winners big. Sounds very easy when it's said, but realistically, many people cannot manage that because they become too emotionally attached to their trades. Oh, you know, I'm not going to close the short here because it's going to come down again. You know, it goes up another percent. Oh, you know, I'm really scared. I don't want to close this short now. It's got to come down. And, you know, then they end up wiping out their accounts off of what should have been a, a minuscule loss if you had plan planned that correctly or your risk management. So it's a simple case of, you know, at the moment, we are definitely range bound. We know our levels of support and resistance within this range. You know, key levels that we're obviously looking at are those value area highs, lows, and the point of control uh, specifically of this one, in my opinion. And then we're aware of the levels if we are to break down from this range, the next level of interest, and if we break up the next level of interest. If you see here, we have nice single print rows. If you look at the TPO charts, um, I'll do this for you really quickly. If you look at the TPO charts, you'll see that we have a little bit of a single print row here or kind of this inefficiency. So this could be filled fairly quickly. So this is just, you know, things that I'm noting, things that I'm being aware of as the day progresses, you know, and I start to get alerts go off. Um, you know, those are things I'm looking at straight away, reminding myself, OK, we have those single prints. You know, let's make, you know, let's <laughs> make sure we're, we know what that is at first. <laughs> OK, that's very important. And, you know, what that is likely to 
you know occur coming into single prints and obviously we look to fill that efficiency here in this in this scenario um <clears throat> So yeah, that, that's basically the quick run through here of the Bitcoin chart. I hope I've got you hyped and excited for the week ahead. Um, there are a few more things that I want to go over here. Oh, oh my God, yeah. I mean, we can talk a little bit about it. Oh, look at Cardano today. Cardano obviously up 10%. Yesterday it was up about 5%. Like Cardano is running at the moment. Litecoin. Isn't it funny that Cardano and Litecoin are the ones, are the altcoins running right now? This is, this feels like, this feels like 2018 all over again. Um, <laughs> um, la, 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 la. Yeah, what really quick, I want to do two announcements before we get back to the charts here. The first announcement is, um, yeah, I've done a Champions live stream last night. If you haven't managed to watch that Champions live stream yet, you can catch it over on the website. Of course, uh, on demand, it's basically like a Netflix type service. You can watch it back whenever you want. Um, so yeah, that's over on the website. I had great, 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 great fun on that one last night. I had a lot of fun making it. And obviously a lot of people also really enjoyed it because yeah, we, we have our plans on the long-term time frame locked in. You know, this is for the swing trades, high term time frame, deleted all my analysis, done the analysis so you can actually see it being created and you know ending up with those absolute pivotal levels on the high term time frame for the swing trades also went through my favorite altcoins uh so if you want to see that that's obviously over at the website chartchampions.com okay and the second announcement that i want to give you really quickly is um that i'm it's likely that i'm not going to be doing another public youtube video for a week okay week a little bit so um yeah, just an FYI. So if you want my updates, because I'm not going to be doing them here on YouTube, if you want my updates, obviously I'll be doing some over in the Discord or the ones that I'll be doing for free will be over on Instagram. I'll just put it on the Instagram story. Uh, these seem to be uh, <laughs> nice, sim nice, simple ways to do it. As yesterday, we were taking over with the uh, CC pool Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll try and keep this related to, uh, to, to the trades and on obviously uh, Twitter, of course. Twitter is the very easy place to do uh, trading updates. Both of them, the Instagram and the Twitter, are both just chart champions, obviously spelt correctly. Be aware of scammers because people are going to try and DM you. Uh, just be aware. I'm never going to send you a DM. We only have chart champions spelt correctly those are the those are the two announcements the first one was well the second one i suppose is give us a follow over on the other social medias if you want to keep up to date with the team of chart champions as well as the trading updates okay because i'm not going to be doing them here on youtube for the next week and the second one was uh yeah if you want to see um you know the results or basically the watch back of last night's champions live stream that's over on the website right now okay so those are the two announcements and back back to the charts then so um as i was saying yeah, a lot of altcoin movement right now. We, we've said this before. I've said this many times. Uh, altcoins generally perform best. Well, you can kind of see today, it's kind of a mixed bunch. But you have to see what, what's the biggest red here today. The biggest red at the moment is Atom. Okay. Uh, you've seen a bit on GRT. But let's just use Atom as an example. It's a nice example here. So today, Atom is down 4%. But what you have to remember is yesterday, Atom was up 10%. So eg there's great volatility in these moves atom over the past few days is up over, over 20 percent. it was done a 10 percent the next day another 10 percent obviously basically hitting all-time high yeah and basically hit all-time high very 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 close to it um eg there's a lot of volatility in these alts right now this is great potential if if there are not so many trades on bitcoin i do believe there's a lot of scope and day trades to be had here on the bitcoin chart to be honest with you there is um, but if you do not feel so comfortable trading the very small moves on Bitcoin, uh, then obviously there, there, there's, a, there's a thousand altcoins here that you can be trading. And my, my, I think, yeah, this, this would be what I would kind of say. If you're struggling a little bit here on Bitcoin, because it is too small of movements for you, you can practice on some of these coins that are, are, are trending. OK, Cardano is trending at the moment. Link is trending at the moment. Atom is definitely trending at the moment. Um those would be the most simplest ones i'd have thought yeah again you don't need you don't need thousands those three over here, here that i've given you are some of the best performing ones at the moment and they also respect technical analysis very 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 well indeed which is always a bonus um so yeah you don't need to only focus on bitcoin there's a load of altcoins to trade as well and obviously make money on um so yeah or at least practice homing homing in your skills okay and that kind of leads me on to the thing that i want to end with here Okay, homing in the skills. Oh my God, I'm gonna... Okay, I will ask very nicely the video guy to edit that out because I was coughing to death for a good two minutes straight there. And we are back in the room. <laughs> and where was I, what was I talking about? Uh, I was saying, yeah, about the, the building blocks and this need of like the skill building essentially. 
And it leads me very nicely on to actually what I want to talk about next. And I, I hope you view this part as really inspirational because even for me, it's like, wow, I, I just stop and sometimes I think, wow, <laughs> uh, how blessed and fortunate, uh, just a whole list of emotions uh, that I would like to talk about next. And it was actually brought around by this post uh, from somebody in the Discord that was brought to my attention. And I, I read it and I just smiled. Really simply, I smiled. I'd like to read it for you because, yeah, I guess for me, it's also a very proud moment and feels good, yeah. So uh, basically somebody wrote a, a novel. <laughs> and, uh, you know, what you need to think about here is just like each of the steps that you are going through today. And it's just like, I've talked about this briefly in the past, like, if you want to do something great, or not even necessarily something great, if you just want to achieve something, you need to focus on each small part, okay? So let's say your goal is to become a good trader. That is not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen a week. It's not gonna happen in one month, okay? It's gonna take time. And it's gonna take time of studying, and then obviously practicing. You need to know the theory, then you need to be able to implement that into the charts. So this is obviously not a quick process, but it is a rewarding process, okay? But what you need to think of is, you know, let's use the example of on our website, we have, what, three, 400 hours of video, okay, content, it, you know, comprised of, let's say, 200 videos. It's not, it's not um, realistic to think you're going to do that in, in a day, is it? Okay, so if you want to become a profitable trader, what you need to think is, okay, I'm going to focus on one little aspect every single day. Okay, whether that's only being able to uh, dedicate 15 minutes or whether you can dedicate one hour. Okay, it's the process of something small every single day. Okay, and if you can do something small every single day, you don't kind of notice that process. You know, you don't notice the improvements because they're so subtle and small. But when you think of the long term picture, every little small piece of information that you're gaining, every bit of knowledge absorbed, that slowly in time becomes something really, really, really great. And it's this process of managing expectations and actually having a working routine and mindset that's, hey, today I just want to do this small thing. And that those small things every single day, after a year, after two years, after 10 years, build up into something unimaginable. I truly mean that. Absolutely something that you would never have imagined. Because when you truly love something and you have that passion for it, you can create things that people thought were impossible. Yeah. And it's brilliant. It kind of leads me on to this. So, um, yeah, somebody wrote a kind of nice post about me, which always made, which does make me smile. But he's saying here about, you know, let's talk about the innovation, the mythology and system of mapping the daily, weekly, monthly levels and pairing them to color coded systems to be seen as trading the levels known to many. I guess when we talk about trading the levels, level to level trading, these daily, weekly, monthly levels. Yeah, you know, when you think about this, 100%, this was created by myself. And now it is used by many other people. And when I started trading, did I think that this was going to be possible? Did I think that I'd be creating a system such as this? The answer is, of course not. But when you are building up something daily, when you are trying to you know when you're, you're i suppose at this point you're you're, you're not trying to be innovative in, innovative per se you're just trying to find something that works better than everything everything else that you've come across thus far and you know then once that has been proven to work you can share this to the world and then people are really really respecting that and i think this is this is really beautiful but then we move on to this also the studies of the dot six six fibonacci and the decision to for the decision to forego to six five and make what one day all traders around the world will know as the champions channel cannot be overlooked again it's this like people people laughed to be honest people laughed when i when i first created the champions channel ah you're just trying to do this you're just trying to do that ah, it's, it's it's irrelevant um, the thing is, it's these small little details that make such a big world of difference. Okay, I recognized that the 65 was a was basically continuously going through the level. And it's the only way you can recognize this in trading is running statistics. I talk about the, the importance of running statistics all the time. You know, I am very obsessed with it, you know, in my Excel sheets and, and running statistics and seeing what's working at the time, what's not. Okay. What mythology am I going to be using at this moment in time? I, I knew we went through periods, you know, where the CC was extremely well respected. We've gone through the swing failure pads. 
you know, we go through periods where the Elliott waves are working really well, where harmonics are working really well, okay? E.g., there's there's never something that's consistently always working. It's a, it's a case of things will come, it kind of is like in trends. Something's popular, it's not working, it's work, you know, and it's, it's your... It's your job as a trader to work out flavor of the month per se, because there's always something that's outperforming everything else. Okay, at the moment, order flow is, for instance, working extremely well. Um, E.g., e e it's this it's this attention to detail that some people, you know, to be honest, like laughed at me when I done it, but now everybody's using it. Why? Because they can actually see that it's so much greater. Okay, and it's just these small minute details that you can only come across by working harder than everybody else. Period. To recognize. What is the flavor now? You know, what is working better than everything else? Okay, and for me, that was, you know, recognizing the new Fibonacci level there. Uh, in regards to Elliott Waves that you hold so highly, he has shown in quite a few videos that he has improved upon Elliott's textbook principle of 65 years ago. And again, this is another one that I think you'll find very interesting. I have had a lot of messages of, oh, your Elliott Wave counts are, are not right. Uh, oh, your Elliott Wave counts are not following the rule book. And my answer is always the same. Elliott waves were created, like this guy says, let's say 65 years ago. The crypto trading was not around during the creation of Elliott waves. These rules are outdated and irrelevant, in my opinion. And yes, people really hate that because when people love Elliott waves, they love the rules. They love following these rules that you have to stick by. And then I come along and say, hey, I'm not going to follow your rules. I'm going to actually make a new mythology based off of this, but improve it times 100. And that received a lot of backlash. It still does. If I ever do a Elliott wave count, people are 100% guaranteed. Hey, you haven't followed this rule. And my answer is always going to be the same. But I made money. <laughs> the guys that follow the rules that cannot come out of this rule they're so stuck on oh this is this is the only way this has to be right yeah i guess what they're not making as they're not making as much money as i am <laughs> it's very likely let's say this anyway you know it, it, you don't need to be bound by a rule set yeah if you can improve upon something yeah people are gonna hate it but i reckon 10 years time from now people are gonna laugh at the original Elliott wave rule set and people will focus on the chart champions one because it is so much greater it's so much greater and it makes so much more sense. Um, so it's just like this this thing. It kind of fits in with the Elliot, you know, with the Fibonacci, the ways we changes, the Elliot waves, the changes that I've made. You know, people are gonna hate on it, people are gonna laugh at things at first, but give them time and seeing the results, because the results are obviously massively important. Seeing the results consistently over time, people people I I, I think you're gonna see say five, ten years, people are not gonna <laughs> you know, I don't think people are gonna refer to the original principles. Um, so yeah, that, that's like the innovation type of, type of things that we're going through, but it's kind of this like process. What I wanted to get around by like reading this post is I never imagined this, you know, I, I never imagined this. I never wanted it per se. It's just kind of like a natural process that when you truly, truly just have this passion and love for something, you can create something special. Yeah. You can create something special. And I mean, the end of the, the end of it is. I'll just read this out very quickly. I want to just try and move on. But his preemptive calls and plans for some of the Bitcoin moves that we have seen this bull run have been absolutely nothing short of brilliant. No one, and I mean no other crypto trader or influencer, has been able to make videos showing levels and trade setups from weeks to months in advance and see them play out to almost the dollar at levels called, etc. Want to have your mind blown? There are five or six videos in a YouTube playlist that I have labeled Long Live King Daniel, where he has absolutely 100% has you thinking that he is from the future at the end of them from his also showing proof predictions that have been made weeks before it happened. There is no one better at crypto or Bitcoin trading uh, and that he awaits their answer. And for me, it's like another one of these things that when, we, when we're talking about predictions, as we're talking about calls, a, a lot of people also, you know, mistake a lot of things that we do of saying, hey, Daniel makes a prediction for the upside. He makes a prediction for the downside. And that is obviously true. And, and, and the, 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 the lower skilled trader doesn't understand that. Yeah, I'm not making a prediction per se. What I would always would have is a bullish and a bearish scenario. And this is the thing that is of just so important. If you want to be successful, you need to do this. You need to have a scenario which leads to the downside and you need to have a scenario that leads to the upside. And again, the important thing is making money. You can make money wherever price goes. It doesn't matter to us if price drops from here to $10,000.
It doesn't matter if price rises from here to $100,000. The only thing that matters is that we're able to make money on that journey to where the price is going, period. That's the only thing that matters, okay? So of course we're gonna have predictions and scenarios for upside and to the downside. Because if we're only prepared and predicting one way, it doesn't make sense in a game of probabilities. Yeah, how, how would it make sense to, to not be prepared for this? Okay, <laughs> um, so this is just something that's so important. And this is the beauty that when you are prepared for that levels and you have those high levels of confluence, yes, we can say exactly as predicted because we were, we were not necessarily predicting that it was 100% going down, but we were predicting the exact level that it was going to bounce from. And that's, you know, that's how we can come here and say, weeks in advance, I was ready and waiting for that level. I traded this level to the dollar. I called it to the dollar. <laughs> not because I 100% knew we were going there, but because I 100% knew I was ready to take that trade off of that exact level, period. Yeah. And that's the bit that I wanted to end with. Um, just emphasizing that one more time, the importance of having a plan. Plan the trade, trade the plan, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Slightly different than normal, I suppose. I hope that you can view it in a way of I, I, I truly, truly, truly hope that you can view it as inspirational. Nothing that I'm doing here is trying to, I know some people always say, oh, you're ignorant, you're trying to brag, not humble. Honestly, I'm not trying to do this in the slightest. I, I want you to use this as an inspiration, yeah? I am no different. I am no better than anybody else. I'm just a normal, normal, normal guy. I live no special way. I have no special powers. All I have is a love. I have a love <laughs> and I have dedicated so much of my life to trading and... This is not making me better than anyone else. It just means I have put in a lot of time and a lot of hours and then I've, uh, I suppose, become good at this. And um, what I'm trying to say here is, is you can do it too. There's absolutely no reason why you cannot do the same as me or even outperform me and do better. Yeah, I'm, I'm teaching a lot of what I know. So um, there's, there's no reason you cannot, you cannot do that. And that maybe could be your goal to be a better trader than me, or at least on the same level as me, whatever you want. And join us, be, <laughs> let's sit up on, on, the, on, the, on the stadium together and celebrate. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I, I, I'm not trying to show off, I'm not trying to brag. I just want to try and inspire and share the passion. You know, if I can convert one person to loving trading as much as I am, then yeah, it's, it, it just feels good. Yeah, it feels good because yeah, I just think when you love something and then you see someone else love it too, I just think this is beautiful. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully you, hopefully you do maybe already love it as much as me. And if that's the case, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you can be ready with me this week and next week and the weeks to come for trading this Bitcoin chart to extracting money off the gold mine that we call Bitcoin trading. Of course, with our paper trades, but at the end of the day, whether it's paper, whether it's real money, it's the same amount of fun we're having now. Uh, so yeah, I just want to say thank you ever so much, ever so, ever so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you have enjoyed, of course, I would thoroughly appreciate a thumbs up, a like to the video, free, and it means a lot. It's really, really helpful. So if you want to give a thumbs up, please do. Um, if you want to share the video, please do. You know, give it to your friends, give it to your family, you know, reminder that over on social media, the Twitter and the Instagram. That's where I'll be posting primarily over the next week or so. And um, yeah, the Champions live stream. Well, we, it's like this one, but it's like a hundred times more in depth. You see me doing all the analysis, marking out the levels. That's obviously over on the website. Um, and yeah, I suppose I'll, I'll see you there over on the Discord as a champion, as a contender, or um, I suppose that's it really for me. I, I've, I have enjoyed making this one. I am going to end with a big smile on my face. I hope that you are too. And I will say with this, CC Paul, send their regards. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Love you so much and goodbye. Cheers.